Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel today. We're diving into the latest buzz around the WNB in Rookie of the Year race. Stephen A. Smith's bold prediction, Sue Bird's insight, Olympic popularity, Bird versus Shaq. Watch the heated debate between Sue Bird and Shaqville O'Neal over Caitlin Clark and Angel Rees. You said today's clear choice between Caitlin Clark and Angel Rees, Megan Rapinoe's surprising comment about. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for the latest updates and discussions in the world of women's basketball. Let's dive in. Stephen A. Smith makes bold prediction for WNB in Rookie of the Year. Angel Reese has made a career of defying expectations. Following an impressive college run, the six foot three power forward transferred to the Zoo Tigers in 2022, winning an NCAA championship and being named NCAA Tournament Most Outstanding Player. After declaring for the 2024 Gil NBA draft, Reese was picked by the Chicago Sky as the seventh overall selection. Despite initial doubts about her transition to the professional level, Reese quickly silenced her critics. She was named an all-star along with Caitlin Clark of the Indiana Fever, marking the first time in a decade that two rookies made the all-star team. During a recent first take conversation with Chance the Rapper, Espen Stephen A. Smith boldly predicted that Reese would be this season's WNBA Rookie of the Year over Clark. I'm gonna make a statement. Yeah. I'm gonna say this before we move on. Angel Reese. Rookie. Is a, it, it, rookie of the year? She, she, she may be rookie of the year. She's yeah. special. Yeah. Yeah. And let me that tell you way. this, yeah. and let me tell you this right now. And let me tell you this right now. Yep. I don't care what anybody said, because she can play. She's no scrub. She's a walking double-double. Damn it, stop apologizing. Marketability matters. And if, if you can if you could have that girl on the team, make sure you do it because that's gonna elevate the popularity of the sport and a rising tide lifts all boats. Yep. Sue Bird explains Caitlin Clark WNB a Rookie of the Year pick over Angel Rees. WNB a legend Sue Bird has her own perspective on the Rookie of the Year race, favoring Caitlin Clark over Angel Rees. Bird prioritizes the eye test over individual stats or team records, which leads her to favor Clark. Rees had an early lead in the Rookie of the Year race with a record 15 straight double-doubles and a solid start for the sky. However, Clark's recent performances have narrowed the gap. In her last 10 games before the midseason break, Clark averaged 18.5 points, 6.3 rebounds, and 11.4 assists, including a game where she dished out 19 assists against the Dallas Wings. The Fever have also jumped ahead of the sky in the standings, boosting Clark's candidacy further. Bird acknowledges the subjectivity of individual awards and the potential bias of the eye test, favoring a dynamic high-volume scorer like Clark over a power forward like Reese, who excels in more subtle ways. For Rookie of the Year, I don't really do like the stat comparison. Yeah, it can help. It can help inform things when it's tight, for sure. I don't do the record. I just do the eye test. And to me, she's Rookie of the Year. Yeah, her and Leah are really figuring it out. Angel's having an amazing season, obviously, yeah. breaking the, the double-double. Oh, two truths. Yeah. They can both be good. I know. They can both be having great years. Caitlin Clark's popularity at the Olympics. Caitlin Clark's popularity continues to rise, evidenced by young fans sporting her jersey at a 2024 Paris Olympics matchup between Team USA and Germany. Despite being left off the USA roster for the Olympics, Clark's impact is undeniable. Many fans believe Clark should have been included on the team due to her early achievements and success as a WNBA rookie. Team USA's starting guards have struggled in the Olympics, highlighting the potential impact Clark could have had. During the WNBA's All-Star Weekend, Clark and Team WNBA defeated Team Yusa, with Clark setting an all-star rookie record in assists. Fans from Japan even showed their support for Clark during their matchup against Team Yusa, with signs proclaiming, you need Caitlin Clark to beat us. Sue Bird and Shaquille O'Neal disagree over Caitlin Clark versus Angel Rees WNBA debate. The debate between Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark for the WNBA Rookie of the Year intensified following the All-Star break. Basketball icons Sue Bird and Shaquille O'Neal joined the discussion, each supporting a different player. Bird, the legendary ex-Seattle Storm guard, favors Clark, while Enba Hall of Famer O'Neal supports Reese. Bird emphasized her reliance on the eye test rather than stats. I don't do the stat comparison. It can help when things are close, Bird said. I just do the eye test, and to me, Caitlin Clark is Rookie of the Year. O'Neal praised Clark but leaned towards Reese for the award. She made the comment the other day that she was born like this, and it's true. Her mentality, the way she plays, no nonsense, going to say what is on her mind, going to play the way she plays, and I love that about her, Shaq said. 
Caitlin Clark is a fabulous player. The female Steph Curry. They have done a lot for the game, but let's not forget all the people that made the game what it was, he continued. I will never forget a Cheryl Swoops, a Candace Parker, or a Lisa Leslie. But Caitlin Angel, because of social media and other media outlets, really brought the game where it should have been 10 years ago. So I'm really an advocate for women's basketball. They always play hard, their fundamentals are great, but I'm going to give it to Angel Reese right now. Yusa today makes clear choice between Caitlin Clark, Angel Reese in WNBA rookie rankings. As the WNBA season takes a break for the 2024 Paris Olympics, fans eagerly await the return of women's basketball. Yusa today added to the excitement by releasing its mid-season rankings for Rookie of the Year, Caitlin Clark leading by a large margin. Clark has been outstanding, setting an all-star game record for assists and leading all rookies in points per game 17.1 assists per game 8.2, and steals per game 1.5. Despite not attending Team Yusa training camp, her absence from the Olympics caused an uproar due to her impressive performances. Earlier in the year, the race between Clark and Reese was closer. However, Clark's consistent record-breaking performances have widened the gap between her and her Chicago Sky rival. <music> Megan Rapinoe takes a shot at Caitlin Clark while Sue dubs her Rookie of the Year. Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese's battle for the Rookie of the Year award has become the biggest talking point of the 2024 WNBA season. Fans, analysts, and former players are split with many vouching for the Fever Guard and others claiming the Sky Center is the front runner. Power couple Megan Rapinoe and Sue Bird reveal they are in Clark's corner, but the retired soccer star threw some shade at the rookie. On panel, they were asked about their pick for the Rookie of the Year award and Rapinoe revealed the Fever sensation was her pick. She noted that the guard leads in most statistical categories, but jokingly pointed out she also has the most turnovers. The soccer icon said, the year, we're in agreement. Yeah, I am Caitlin. Yeah, I am um, Caitlin's rookie of the year. Yeah, she's leading in all the categories, assists, turnovers, points. <laughs> <laughs> Not roast her, come on. Come on, roast her. She's fine. She's fine. Uh, I'm kind of like, I don't really do these narratives reflect the ongoing debate and excitement surrounding the Rookie of the Year race in the WNBA, showcasing the differing opinions and analyses from notable sports figures. The WNBA Rookie of the Year race is shaping up to be one of the most exciting in recent memory, with Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark both making strong cases. Stephen A. Smith's prediction and Sue Bird's analysis highlight the different ways to evaluate talent and impact. Meanwhile, Clark's growing popularity underscores her influence on and off the court. As the season progresses, it will be fascinating to see who ultimately takes home the Rookie of the Year honors. That's all for today's update. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more basketball news and updates. See you next time.